Hello and welcome to the next section of the course. In the last section, we did a lot of work to wire a passport into our express server. We wrote a lot of code to do the initial integration to get all those pieces of the puzzle together in order to make it work end to end. And now that we have all those pieces set up and we have got the authenticate flow working on that login route in our API, this whole section is now gonna be how to make use of that work that we did and leverage it in order to inspect incoming requests or, or the other requests on our API to inspect whether those incoming requests are valid or not in terms of an authenticated user. And if certain endpoints do require a user to be authenticated, we now have the, the mechanism to do those checks that we wanna do to make sure that the, the incoming request is one that we can uh, safely and comfortably respond with the data that it's asking for. To that end, what we're gonna be doing in this next section is setting up a new route in our Express API. It's just gonna be a simple one to get some basic user information from our MockDB, but we'll use this API route in order to demonstrate and understand how the authenticated route flow is going to work. I've put together this sequence diagram that explains this new flow that we're talking about in terms of the authenticated route. And so in a very simplified way, we've got the client, we've got the server and passport, and the requests that are being made from the client then will come through to the server and requests that require authentication, will, we can term these protected routes or routes that require authentication. And so the, the general flow of how this would work is the route will come in with the incoming request will have those cookies attached to the header of, of the request. And then our server is going to receive the incoming request and then do some of that work and that request will be flowing through that middleware that we've written in the last section. The, the passport session along with the, the cookie session middleware is going to evaluate those cookies that are on the request header. There's a couple of cases here, either those uh, cookies are invalid, they're not present, or if they are valid, there's a few different ways that this is going to, to pan out. If the, the cookies are valid, then passport is going to deserialize that cookie and extract the, the user ID out of the cookie. And then it's going to attach that information onto the request object and then send it back to the next piece of middleware, which in our case is going to be the, the request handler that we've written up in our router. And then once the control has been passed back to our root handler, then it's up to us to kind of do the work to evaluate whether we want to respond with the information or not. So we can either respond with a 401 unauthorized or we can just send through a 200 k okay if we retrieve the information and send it back to the user so that's a, a just a quick high level overview of what this authenticated endpoint flow is going to look like the key point to kind of summarize what i wanted to illustrate in this diagram is that when we receive the request into our handler that we've written in our router it's totally up to us to handle the situation where the request is authenticated or not so in summary the, the point I'm trying to illustrate here with this diagram is that the work that we did in the previous section to wire our passport and the session management, all that did was be able to give us a mechanism to attach a few properties on the request object. And it is now totally up to us in our request handler to then evaluate those properties and we can use those and a bit of a conditional logic then to determine whether we want to respond or not. If we don't, we can just send back a 401 or a 403. And so this whole section is gonna be about setting up and showing you how to do, set up that conditional logic so we can implement the right code to make sure that certain endpoints are authenticated. That's it for this lesson then. A quick overview of what we're about to do in the upcoming lessons. Let's take a short break here. I'll see you on in the next one. Cheers for now.